what it is. <laughs> Jack has been bothered by my questioning of the power rankings today. Oh, it's not. not. Takes it very seriously, don't you? Well, I have, have you know, it's a lot <laughs> of science. It's a lot of science behind it. Came in today so prepared for that. It was the first thing he said when we saw him. Got the power ranking <laughs> today. Tell you what, I, wish people, I wish people could see his face coming down the stairs when it was 2 1. <laughs> oh, I'm going to see change. I'm like, <laughs> what's happening? Uh, all right. He said as well, at 2 0, I'm like, no chance. That's it. <laughs> the vacation are out. He's like, no, just leave it alone. You just wait. Yeah. I was I like, no chance. See, Good old carabag. People cover the Bundesliga every week, Shaka. Some people casually drop in when they feel like it. I, I need to talk to somebody <laughs> who covers the Azerbaijani league. Yeah. <laughs> All right, first question. Was Stevie a part of the Liverpool team that won 11 0? If not, does he remember that result? Was that Odense? Took 11 0 over two legs. I don't know. You, you were there. You were there, but oh, were you there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mac wants to know. Is there anybody no. there? <laughs> no, there's not. <laughs> so why are you asking? <laughs> <laughs> hey, why are you ask a question when you know the answer? <laughs> That's what I don't get. <laughs> so you weren't a part I of that? I think I was at the club. I think it was 11-0 in aggregate over... Over a dance. Which I club? I think I played. <laughs> the nightclub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it could have been the year we won it, 83, 84. Right. I think we played Odense in the first round. I could be wrong, but that's my guess, Odense. Right. Right. Okay. So you do remember that result though, more or less? You a bit can... less. A bit <laughs> less. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there a significant advantage to playing penalty shootouts at home? Both Atleti and Arsenal advanced on penalties while playing at home. Absolutely. There's an, always an advantage when you're, when you're at home. I've, I've, you know, you, you just... And, and there's little things that you often can't describe, just the familiarity of your, of your surroundings. You, you prefer that. And you have your, your crowd behind you. You prefer that. Um, so, yeah, we, we, without question, there, there's a huge... There's a huge benefit. There's a huge benefit to that. There's a huge benefit to playing the second leg at, at, at home, which you know I, I, I think leans into that as well. Stevie, we all know of big game players, players who play a level up when the world is watching. Are there players that do the opposite? Is Lautaro Martinez one of them? I'd have to say no because he's got a World Cup winners medal. Um, I'd have to say no on him, but there are definitely players who who don't answer the bell sometimes when it matters most. Um, but I wouldn't say he's one of them. You know, he contributed, no question, to Argentina winning the World Cup, so you can't question him. Absolutely not. How does Darwin Nunez finish the difficult chances so brilliantly and miss so many sitters? Do you remember any other strikers like him? Ooh. Well, we covered it on the show, actually, halfway through the season when we were talking about Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez, when he went to Liverpool, had a lot of chances. I mean, he didn't miss, he didn't miss the type of chance that, that Nunez missed at Luton, but then that's a one-off. I could I could show you a chance that Kenny Dalglish, probably the, the best one of the best two strikers Liverpool ever had in their entire history. I could show you a chance he missed from a yard at Old Trafford, an open goal. So everybody, even the best guys, even the best players can miss what should be 100% a goal. There's not many. There's not. No, there's not. No, 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 there's not. But I, I find that a strange comparison with Luis Suarez. And, and while I, admittedly, you no, when Luis Suarez came to Liverpool, he, had, he missed a lot of chances. I, 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 there was I'll, question. There were. I'll have to take the question it over him. The question over him was exactly the same things we're talking about Nunes. People hated playing against him. He was. He was always. Mm. The centre backs hated it. He always looked to go in behind as well. His link-up play was pretty good. Although I wouldn't say Nunes. His link-up play is particularly great. But he, he had everything except his goal tally wasn't quite there. Right. And then I, I would probably say either the end of his second season or the start of his third, 
cracked it. All of a sudden, just... And that's, and, and, right, I, as far as I say, I'll, I'll yeah. take your word for it on, on the early Luis Suarez days, but yeah. when, when he did crack it, good God, he was a good player. Aye. I mean, he was, he was unstoppable in, in, in so many ways. Uh, I'll, this is a two-part question. I'll ask you the part for you, Shaka, first. So, Stevie, will you ever play or take part in a Liverpool Legends game? Shaka, will you ever take part in a Newcastle Legends game? Um, I will. I'm invited. Um, seeing that probably so long, so long ago now that there's other keepers that played after me that would probably make more sense to have in. You're never forgotten at Newcastle. I'm, I didn't say I'd be forgotten. Okay. Just said that. You are the mayor of Newcastle. Yeah, I think it's all oh, time. <coughs> <age, you know. laughs> um, I, I, I've, I've, I've stopped playing Masters. How many other Newcastle keepers have a key to the city? Um, none. Exactly. That I that I know of. Yet. Yet. I, I don't know. And even if they get one, they won't look as good as you in the hat and well, the gown and everything, will they? Let's be honest. I just I pull off many a hat. <laughs> Yes. Stevie? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing at Stevie? <laughs> Why are you laughing at Stevie? How dare you? <laughs> He's getting all serious. How dare you? He's got his hands out, ready to answer his question. Yes, sir. He's ready. He's I'm offended. Coiled and ready to spring into action. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Stevie? No. <laughs> Well, if you're looking for a linesman, then, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you always say you never lose your touch, you know? <laughs> I'm being serious with that. I'm being serious. She's wiping away tears. She's laughing, wiping away tears. Uh, yeah. laughing, wiping away tears. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm being serious, you know. Keep going. <laughs> oh, shit, you were never mean. You thought I had an elf story. You definitely lost your stamina, but you won't have lost your touch. <laughs> <laughs> so I've lost, how did you know I've lost my stamina? <laughs> Keep digging. <laughs> I can assure you I haven't lost my stamina. What happened when you went to the athletics club even when you were a kid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, the last, the last, the last <laughs> legend, I was mid, my mid forties, which is a few years ago now. I think I was like 45, it was like 2006. And I went back to Anfield and it was Liverpool. It was the 80, a rerun of the 86 Cup final between ourselves and Everton. And obviously we won the game 1-0 and it was, it was sold out. It was fantastic. But I, I, I was never able to because I was at the Revs. And then by the time I finished at the Revs, I'd hit the 50 mark. And you can't, you can't run. You just can't run. I mean, we saw that with Jan, right? If you ever <laughs> want an example, of how when you hit a 50, you can't run. <laughs> there's your, there's and Briggs come look up. at your hand. What about if it was against like your fellow players at your era? Would that make it? Oh, that'd be a great game, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's watch that. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna go walk in soccer. <laughs> Everybody can walk around. Ah. Yeah, no. 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 All right. Uh, start bench or drop? Liverpool striker edition. Oh. Fernando Torres, Luis Suarez, Michael Owen. Ooh, I know. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm leaving it to you. Suarez, Torres, Owen. Suarez, longevity, no question. Torres, Torres at his peak, you could argue, was was more lethal than the other two, but it, it didn't last that long, to be honest. You know, talking a couple of seasons. Yeah. A couple of yeah. seasons, maybe. So, yeah, I would have to go Suarez, then Torres, and then Michael Owen. Your green checker. And I, I, I probably would go uh, Suarez Owen Torres. Owen's got a lot of goals. Owen, <laughs> play for Man United. So that's why. Aye. Uh, that's you different. can't, you yeah. can't do that. You can't do that. Okay, I won't. Stevie, how do you like Scotland's new national team kits that were released for Euro 2024? The light blue with purple away kit looks interesting. Oh, have you seen that? I don't know if we look it. There it is, there it is. Oh, look at you. I could see you all in that, Stevie. In a Legends game for yeah. Scotland. There you go. Oh, that's uh, better. Right, that's better. Right, that's now a nice kit. That first one. That could, be, that, could be any, that could be any country. That could be anybody. It looks like, it looks like Greece from here. That could be Greece. It's an colours. away kit. We want from an away kit. You don't have to have a colour like that. Get similar to the to the home one. I like I like the, the home one. Like Real Madrid colours the away kit. It might help. Purple and white. 
<laughs> I am a little bit Scottish, remember? That wasn't a burn. No, you were. You're not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been deported. <laughs> You've deported back to Middlesbrough. Yeah, oh. I like. I don't mind the uh, Scotland strip, the, the proper one, the home. But the away kit, no. You're not having it? No. Nothing Scottish about it. All right. I think I've... I think I've been sent something. Trying to be go play in Canada sometime uh, next week. <laughs> That's why we have. Why we talking international kits? <laughs> oh, hang on. I've just I've just received word, Stevie. Uh -huh. The Liverpool beat Odense six 0 on aggregate in the 83-84 European Cup. Yeah. Liverpool's biggest margin win in Europe is an 11 0 victory over Stromsgodset. Stromsgodset. Stromsgodset, yeah. In the 1974-75 European Cup Winners' Cup. Did you say, did I play in it? The, 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 I didn't, the, the person I think, asking. I think you did, didn't you? I did, the person asked asking me. asked that. Are you sure? They definitely asked it in the, the run your own. question. The run your own right now. <laughs> I would have thought it was you that thought it. You don't even know when I'm giving yeah. you a compliment. No. All right? I'm not used to that. All right. Uh, that <laughs> will do it. Is claiming a compliment in there somewhere? <laughs> I said he never loses his touch and I meant it. <laughs> yeah, but you see that wiping away tears laughing. <laughs> if you if you deliver they were from it. From the previous yeah, yeah, like, know, It's like riding a bike, isn't it? If you if you deliver it a little bit more, you know, um yeah. what's the word I'm looking for? It's like riding a bike. More meaning. You know, <laughs> a little bit more forget. meaning. <laughs> but you can't be ah, crying. Touch to the ghost. <laughs> yeah, touch. Oh, geez. Ah. I better go before I get myself into more trouble. We'll see yeah. you tomorrow for Good another idea. edition. That's the best of idea. Extra time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>